Welcome to Acuro App Studio. Let's learn the ropes by creating a simple notes app. The app itself will be made up of two main pages, one where a user can add new notes, and a home page where all added notes will be listed out. Let's get started by clicking the Add New App button. Go ahead and name your app Notes or something similar. Let's choose the With Top Menu template and then click Create. Notice your app is now shown in the My Apps list. Click on it once to open it up in the Acuro App Studio and begin working on it. By default, you'll load into your app's current home page, but we want to add a new page. So go ahead and click the Add button in the top left corner of your screen, and then select Page. When prompted, name your page Add Note. Choose the Database Form template, which quickly generates a data form you can customize, and finally click Create. To edit your form and configure it, go ahead and click on the pencil icon on your form component in the layout area. The first thing we'll need to do to get our form functional is to create a data model. Click Create New Data Model, type in the name Note, and then click Save. You'll need to specify which fields and which types of fields will comprise your data model, so click Add New Field. Name it text since your notes will be made up of text and click save. From the type of data, go ahead and select text area from the drop down. This will specify a larger text box so that longer notes can be more easily added. Next, we need to name the collection of data collected by this form. Data collections are a way to organize groupings of data adhering to the same data model. We'll call it notes as it will be a collection of the user's stored notes, then click save. Finally, we need to configure an action to be executed when the form is saved. To do this, click the Action tab, click Load Page, select Page, select your home page, then click OK. Click OK once more to finish, then to preview your page, right-click it, the Add Note page, in the left-hand Tree View menu, and click Preview. The Live Preview area will now display your page to the right. Go ahead and type your first note in the text area, then try clicking the Save button. Our home page loads as expected, but it's blank. Let's click the orange Save button to save any unsaved changes on our current page, then in the Tree View menu, click your home page to start editing it. Let's start by adding an image to our home screen. To do this, simply drag a UI.image built-in component into the workspace. Next. Go down to its Properties panel, click Image, then Upload. Now you'll be able to choose any image from your computer. It doesn't matter what you select for this tutorial, but we've prepared an icon image that we'll use. Now the image is in your project library. Go ahead and select it and hit OK. Feel free to resize and reposition it as you see fit. That looks about right. Next we'll want to add a list view component, which lets us easily grab data from a previously saved data collection and display it in a list. Click the list view component and drag it to the workspace. Since we've already created a collection that your add note screen saves to, choose load data from an existing collection. Your notes data collection should now be displayed. Finally, we need to tell our list which items from the data collection should be shown where. To do this, Click Edit Mapping. Tell your list view component which data to show where by dragging the text field from your data collection on the left to the text one output field in the component on the right. Then click OK. Now once more. And the note you filled out while testing your add note page should now be displaying on the preview of your home screen. Nice. As the last step in this tutorial, let's add a button that we can use to take us to the Add Note page when we want to add a new item. Drag the UI.ButtonRound component onto your screen, reshape it as you see fit, then click to edit the icon from its Properties panel in the bottom left. You can add any icon you like to your button, but we'll search our library for an add icon and place a plus sign on our button by selecting it and then pressing OK. Now, let's tell our button to load our add note page when clicked. 
This will be your first exposure to one of the most powerful and efficient tools in Akuro, Visual Coding. Click on the Edit icon next to the Click event in your button's Properties, and the Visual Coding window will open. From this screen, you can quickly chain together over 100 pre-made JavaScript coding blocks, each with a unique function, together into a visual script. Later, you can also write your own scripts and add them as choosable blocks in the Visual Coder. Let's grab the page.load block from the page folder on the left, drag it to your workspace, then click the start node once, and click again on the page load block to connect the two. A window will appear that lets you specify which page from your app will be loaded when this block is executed in your script. Notice that the page property of the page.load block is color coded in purple, and that in the left hand list, the pages of your app are also purple. Drag the add note page from the left list to the page property of the page.load block and click OK. Since that's all we need our visual script to do, click OK again to exit visual coding. Hey, you've made it to the end of this tutorial. Go ahead and save your home page, then try clicking your add button in the live preview, adding a second note, and clicking save. You should be brought back to your home page again with both items now listed. Feel free to continue working on your tutorial app or click the menu icon in the very top left corner of your screen to return to the app manager and create your own brand new app project, building on the skills you learned in this tutorial. Of course, you can always learn more by checking out our growing knowledge base at support.akuro.com. We can't wait to see what you create.